It continues to race towards achieving its target of vaccinating 10 million people by December as a means to reopen the economy. A look at Israel could perhaps be a better case study of what to expect once that happens. Israel has been a world leader in COVID-19 vaccination efforts, but owing to a surge in COVID-19 cases attributed to the highly transmissible Delta variant, the country is now focusing on booster shots to protect the vulnerable. Raquel Migai reports on what has now become the largest real-world observational study so far to compare natural and vaccine-induced immunity to COVID-19. As daily infections rise in Israel, with 10,000 cases being reported on average daily, the government is preparing to administer fourth coronavirus vaccinations. Since August 1st, Israel has been offering booster shots of Pfizer vaccine, which a majority of the population was vaccinated with. So far, 2.6 million people out of a population of 9.3 million have received three doses of the vaccine. I came here to get my, first, my third vaccine. I think we are lucky. Uh, to be able to get the third vaccination. According to the country's health ministry data, people vaccinated in January had a 2.26 times greater risk for a breakthrough infection than those vaccinated in April. The data raising questions on just how long immunity lasts after vaccination. On April 15th, Pfizer CEO Albert Bola said people will likely need a booster dose of the vaccine within 12 months of getting fully vaccinated, as the vaccine was more than 95% effective against severe disease up to six months after the second dose. On August 25th, Johnson & Johnson announced data supporting the use of its COVID-19 vaccine, stating in quote, We look forward to discussing with public health officials a potential strategy for our Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine, boosting eight months or longer after the primary single-dose vaccination. According to an article published in the New England Journal of Medicine, antibodies that were elicited by Moderna vaccine persisted through six months after the second dose. Further research is still ongoing. So is the case for Oxford AstraZeneca, as based on a recently published research from the United Kingdom yet to be peer-reviewed, AstraZeneca was 69% effective against the Delta variant at 14 days, dropping to 61% after 90 days. By far, uh, in a way, the majority of these patients were arriving on high flow oxygen, becoming pr getting prone, meaning we put them on their belly to try and increase their, their oxygenation, um, and intubated are those who are, who are not vaccinated. So even if you get second, third infection, because you don't know what mutations we are going to deal with, I would still strongly encourage you to go for the injection. Here in Kenya, the Ministry of Health is also seeking to analyze such data. Because even when you say vaccinated, the issue should be when were you vaccinated before you became ill. As you know, it takes two to three weeks to be fully, to throw the immune response. Israel is expected to present data from the rollout of COVID-19 vaccine booster shots to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, which is weighing White House plans to begin a booster drive in the United States. Countries like Spain, Germany and Turkey have already announced booster shots for their vulnerable groups, even as the World Health Organization calls for a moratorium on booster shots until at least the end of September to leave more doses available for people in countries with poor access to vaccines. Raquel Muigai. Citizen TV. Embattled Kirinyaga Governor Anne Waiguru.